and welcome to the fourth and final segment of the Getting Started with Eclipse tutorials. This is where we actually get to do some coding. Okay, if you don't have the tutorial, head on over to park.edu backslash ICS backslash tutorials. And we're in the Eclipse Getting Started tutorial. And we see up here that we have a program to enter. So we're just going to highlight the text, copy, come over to Eclipse, and in that hello folder we just created, we're going to go ahead and paste that text. Okay. Now we click on the save icon and then go to the project menu. And the project menu. And we have a warning about this build automatically box. It should not be checked. And that is what it would look like if it was checked. So uncheck it and build project or build all. Uh, the build all option can get a little, a little bit lengthy if you have uh, a, a great many classes within a folder. But we just have one, so it shouldn't take long either way. OK, then we're going to look for the tutorial container and expand it, which mine already is, but that's what we're talking about. We want to make sure we see that file in there. And we're going to right click on the Hello Program, select Run As, and Java Application. And there it is. We have our output, Hello World. This is our console window and all of your output will come up here. Okay, now we're going to use this hello file as a template for our next program. So we're going to right click on it, we're going to select copy, right click again, I'm sorry, right click on the folder, not on the file, and select paste, and now we can just paste another uh, file right into our folder and we're going to call this one countdown and there is no need for the dot java file extension here and you'll notice it created another file so we'll double click on that to bring it up and it is of course an exact copy of hello well we don't want that so let's go down to page 11 Copy our countdown program and paste it over the hello program. All right. Now, okay. We're going to uh, click the run menu. And we will run as Java application, and it's going to save it and build it for us. Down in our console window, this program actually has some interactivity. We'll enter 30, and notice that all we get is a line of 30s. The red button here is the stop button, so we will terminate that program. And we're at the top of page 12 now. We need to look for the error. Well, if we come to this line of code right here, it's uh, just a normal little for loop, but it is missing its decrement. So space I minus minus. And now we can go back to as Java application, we'll enter our starting position, and we get a nice little countdown. And it's just that easy. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the rest of the tutorial is um, about how to copy and paste your homework. It is an important part of of the class and the tutorial, but I'm not going to cover it. 
you are all set to start programming in Eclipse. So I hope this series was helpful, and we will see you next time when we use the Eclipse debugger. Have a good one.